Now, the, the further I've gotten into this project, the more... Th Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to day three. It's been a couple of days since I've been out here. We're only six, no. <laughs> Five days from now is season opener for rifle. I've only got one other day off of work between now and then. Well, two. Um, but I do not want to be out in the woods after today. So hopefully we're gonna get this thing knocked the rest of the way out today. We gotta to finish this wall here. We gotta do the roof. <clears throat> we gotta do the front. It's a tall order, but I think we can get there. Now the, the further I've gotten into this project, the more, the further I've gotten into this project, the more that I've learned. My original vision, it, it's beautiful. I can't get myself there in the amount of time that I have. So I've shifted from my original vision of what was going to be a long-term uh, shooting house, deer blind, to what is going to be a functional blind to keep me warm and conceal me for the hunting season that opens in five days. We will rebuild this or build something different later and do a whole different video series there. But I started out by telling you I was going to show you how to build a free deer blind with stuff you already had on your land. It's still true, okay? There's still, you know, if you've got timber, you can watch some of the videos I'm gonna link down below about where my original idea came from. And you, being much better with your hands than me, I am sure, can pull it off, especially if you're planning way in advance and you have the time. I'm just a, I'm a cluster is what I am, a cluster F. So, last minute it is. So enough talking, let's get working and uh, let's try and finish this thing today, shall we? Y'all were 10 minutes in, I already done hit myself in the foot. Oh, Jesus Christ. Help me, Jeebus. Whoa. I should have seen that coming. The amount of injuries this early on is not a good omen. <laughs>
Guys, here's a pro tip for you. If you've got a really nice tape measure and then a really chunky one, don't take the junky one in the woods just because you don't want to take the nice one because this thing is so crappy that the wind just keeps blowing it. Piece of junk. Look at that. Don't ever buy that. They're awful. Like a dollar store measuring tape would be better than this thing. Y'all, we got nails and screws and crustables. Hey look, I'm Wilson from Home Improvement. Starting to look like something. All right, I should explain this part. So that last log that went on is gonna be the bottom of what's gonna be my window slash entrance. So the rest of the logs that go on for a minute here need to be cut so that that spot stays open. So I'm adding inside supports so that the halves of logs have something to rest against 
And then once the window is done, we'll go back to the full length one. basically officially out of supplies supplies that I can use what I do still have is a lot of like brush and stuff so what I'm gonna do at this point is call the actual structure done and just say screw it because I'm out of time I'm out of supplies and this will get the job done so what we're gonna do I'm gonna take these little scraps and pile them up and load my little firewood spot and then I'm gonna clean my tools and stuff out of the way and then I'm gonna start piling stuff around this and kind of brushing it in, wind blocking, maybe block some of the gaps. See how it plays out, let's do it. Man, who wants to go for a tour? I want to go for a tour, let's go for a tour. All right, y'all, let's go for a tour. Let's go inside. Get my fat leg over there. 
Whew. You know what I'm most excited about? This board, this log, really just worked out perfect for a window rest, but here she is, boys and girls. Not too shabby. I will end up filling that in with something, but for now, she's good to go. Oh, I know what you guys, sorry, I'm out of breath. I know what you guys are thinking. There's a bunch of gaps there, and, and there is. But it's structurally sound. It's going to conceal me. And anything through the little gaps anyway, my pattern's going to be broken up. So the deer aren't going to be able to bust me. And my buddy heater that I got is going to have no issue keeping me warm in here. Ow, shit. I should have made the ceiling taller. Yeah, baby. Check out that view. Oh, yeah. Bring on hunting season. Well, y'all. Oh, I don't have a chair in here yet. There ain't a terrible lot to say. Let me get comfortable here. Uh, obviously, I ended up using more than just logs and paracord and a couple of screws. I ended up using logs, scrap lumber, a couple scrap T-posts, some screws, some nails. That's pretty much the gist of it. Um, but I built it completely for free. I did it with materials I are, we already had on the property. Um, and I did it with mostly without modifying the materials I found on the property aside from the lumber and a couple of boards. Uh, that way, when this is taken apart, it can still be used in the future. Uh, yeah. Free hunting blind. And you know what? Like, let's step, out, let's step back outside and talk about the exterior real quick. Because there ain't much to talk about in here. And I want to stand up. Because I don't have my chair in here yet. So, there she is. Not too shabby at all. She ain't perfect. But she's stable, and she's warm, and she'll be mostly dry and out of the wind for the most part. It's going to be pretty great. I'm pretty excited. I've got, with these gaps, I mean, this obviously wasn't part of the plan, but with these gaps, I've got the ability to shoot out of the side. If I've got one that's just slightly where I can't get out of the window, I can stand up and shoot over the top. It's not too bad, guys. Not too bad. All right, so I've got some extra supplies to take back up to the farm. I got tools to clean up and some things to wrap up. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. I, uh, whoo, I'm tired. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up this video. I had a lot of fun making it, even though I complained the entire time and it probably didn't look like I was having fun. But for me, this is a huge accomplishment. I am not somebody who can build things. I'm just not. And it was a very ambitious idea that I had to begin with in a very short period of time. And I'll be honest with y'all, that's better than I expected it to turn out. Because two days ago, sitting at work thinking about this, I was starting to try and embrace the reality that I might have to bail on this and not get it done on time. And I'm just so excited to have it done. And I'm excited that I got to share it with all of you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 80% of my viewers approximately are not subscribers. And if even half of you that are watching that aren't subscribers took a second to hit that button, man, that makes a world of difference to me. And the more subscribers I get, the more content I can make, the more uh, time I can devote to my videos. It just makes everything better, makes my life better, and I hope to make your life better. So please, if you're not a subscriber, consider taking the half a second, go right below this video and hit that button. You can turn on the notifications if you want to and find out when there's new videos. Check out our channel page. I got three years worth of videos on there. I've got some, I've got some good content on there and I think that you'll enjoy it. And uh, hey, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Love it, hate it. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one. Tight lines.